Hi, um, I am responding to question number four for um, the reading this week. Um, I do not believe that me or my friends possess completely free will. Um, I think that society in itself has um, such a huge effect on the way everyone thinks, the way people act, um, what they say, what they do, their, you know, just the way that they live their life um, to such an effect that we change our way of thinking to what society believes is right. Um, so in, in that effect, I don't think we have completely free will. To an extent, we do have free will because within our society, we are each able to, you know, do do different things based on our own little decisions. But for the most part, it's it's still controlled by what society believes is correct. I mean, there are things that, you know, that people, for the majority of society, they don't, it's not good. Um, it's not acceptable. And so people don't do it because it's not acceptable. And so in that sense, it's not, you don't have completely free will if you're not doing something that you would normally do if society had um, not, you know, made the impact that it was something bad or just not something good. Um, so I don't think we can each have completely free will. Um, and schizophrenics possessing free will, I don't think they're capable of it either because schizophrenia is a disease that controls your mind. It controls the way you think, the way you act, um, what you say, what you see, what you do. It It's um, a completely mind-altering disease and the disease is controlling what you're doing. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that the disease itself um, has its own free will and has its own ability to think and um, have its own mind, but it is something that causes your mind to think differently, to for your body to do different things, for you to see things that aren't really there. Um, so that's not free will because that disease is controlling your mind. It's not letting you completely have free will. Um, and if you're being, if the person is being treated with a drug for schizophrenia, once again, you don't, I don't believe that you have free will because there's a drug in your system that's affecting, once again, the way you think and the way you talk and act and see things. Um, so I don't, I don't think that you can have free will if you're taking a drug to help to help with that disease. And as far as recreational drugs, I'm not really sure. I mean, I don't know. You know, that's kind of still an iffy subject, I guess you could say, um, as far as the benefits and the non-benefits of certain recreational drugs. Um, but it is a drug that's in your system that affects the way you think and the way you act. So I, I'm not sure that you would have free will if you did have that um, in your system. And, you know, I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure that I completely understand the true meaning of free will um, in the way that I'm, I need to be understanding it. But based on what I can understand now, um, I, d I think that there's very, very few people in society that have completely free will um, and, you know, the ability to think and do things um, of their own, their own thoughts and own actions. Um, just because society is just a huge, it's based a lot on what people think and um, what other people think of you that's not your own free will. That's 
society's free will, you could say. So um, that's my thoughts on this reading. It was a very good reading and I actually really enjoyed it. It was the best one so far. So hope you enjoyed my video.